All right, y'all. As you can see, the topic is, is this a 1-6 scale community? Well, first of all, what would a 1-6 scale community be? A bunch of members that collect 1-6 scale and support everybody, correct? Well, ask yourselves this. How come the support is there when there's drama, but it's never there when people are showing their figures? Now, what do I mean based off on that? <clears throat> there are collectors out there who average between 80 to 100 views per video. And they're showing their collection or they're talking about a collectible. And they may only have very few comments on there. But as soon as they load up a video about Odell, they break six, seven hundred views. Pages flooded with comments. Drama. There's more support in drama than there is in this one six scale community. My YouTube boxes is, is flooded with messages. Some of it bad, some of it good. Um, one person actually sent me a message and said, how, how does it feel to have this much power? And I'm like, what are you talking about? How does it feel? Everybody is sitting here in the past couple of days has focused more on ranting you than even worried about people who are loading up videos on collectibles. And they asked, how is this a one six scale community? And I, re I sat there and I was like, you know what, you're right. How is that? How is that when people have taken their time out to sit here and load videos up in regards to this situation? Without sitting there naming names, there's a customizer out there loading videos up like this every week, showing figures that he got in the mail or figures he's working on. Averages between 100 to 150 views per video. Very few comments. But one video about Odell surpasses 1,000 views. Page is flooded of comments. But then when one person loads up a video showing their collection, barely even breaks over 200 views. And there's one collector that we all know, because his collection is massive, barely breaks 200 views. Barely breaks him, and all he's doing is just showing his collection. But then one video, or videos about Odell, surpasses 500, 600, 700 views. Now when all of this dies down, and it's no longer an issue, and people start going back loading up videos, it's going to go back to the average. The Ultimate Collector's Channel, for instance, the past couple of videos that have been loaded recently, don't even reach to the amount of views that everybody has gotten when it has came down to me. My views on the last two videos I have are already getting ready to hit 600. People are loading up review or people are sitting there loading up videos showing their custom figures or their hot toys figure and it's nowhere near the capacity of the drama who was the one person that sat there and felt that this wasn't a one six scale community one person mentioned that and at that time that he mentioned that i sat there and i was like dude you're wrong clipper king during the time of the whole charity event. When that whole charity thing was going down, those videos were averaging about 50 to 80 views per video. And nobody was sitting there contributing. You had a very small amount of people that contributed. And the question was made by Clipper King that is like, how is this a one-six scale community 
when nobody, you know, is sitting here participating. Comments were made. And it's funny how I'm the devil and I'm the bad guy. But even comments were made by him sitting there saying that one individual can spend seven to eight hundred dollars on every Rain Man figure, but can't even contribute twenty bucks. That was May, but that was way back then. So I asked myself, is this a one six scale community? One individual was sick. Nobody even knew about it. Yes, that person did not ask me to do a video. Did not ask for any videos at all. I felt, let me go on ahead and do it and try to get everybody else to sit there and go do it. Some people didn't even know this individual was sick until I posted a video. Not too many people followed up with uh, a Get Well video. <laughs> but when one person has an issue with me, there's more videos loaded up than that. How is that a one six scale community? People say don't feed the troll. That That's said a lot. I'm the troll. But I got people coming out of the woodworks. Beta. Haven't seen nor heard from you on the tube in months. But as soon as something goes down, you do a video and you make your comments. But people have been loading up videos, showing figures galore, been quiet. Don't feed the troll. I'm the troll. Don't feed it. The whole thing is who's winning and who's losing. Everybody's saying go Team Magnus. Who's winning and who's losing? Nobody's really winning. Not even me. I'm not even going to sit there and say I am. Even though I have people sitting there leaving me comments and being like, dude, everybody's saying T Magnus, but the real winner is you. The easiest thing would be don't feed the troll. Act like it doesn't even exist. Ignore it. Unsub and ignore him. And about the unsubbing, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, a lot of people unsubbed. It doesn't affect me at all. I'm the main person that sits there and says, hey, if you don't like it, don't buy it. If you don't like my shit, unsub. It doesn't hurt me not one bit. But one person makes everybody else go out and do videos. Flood people's pages with comments. But then when people are loading up videos showing their custom figures or their hot toys, nobody's really paying attention. And of course, when all of this dies down, it'll go back to the normal. Those same people that are getting 100 to 150 views, it'll still be the same. But lo and behold, if I come out and say this and that, you do a video about me, you're going to surpass your 100 and 150 views, you're probably going to break even over a thousand. Barry, he gets no attention, none whatsoever. So the only way he's going to get this attention is to talk about me. That's it. That's really it. Clipper, I can sit there and I can tell you some good things about him and I can tell you some bad things about him. He's one of the best reviewers out there. But he is a drama queen. He loves it. To be a real winner, all you had to do was just do your unboxing and review Wolverine. Didn't have to mention my name at all. You've done enough commenting on everybody else's page. It's funny because a lot of people will show their custom work, even on the collectors, on the Ultimate Collectors channel, and there's barely any comments from you. But then as soon as my name is being mentioned in the video and it's a rant video, you flood it with comments. So you fed off of that. As soon as you knew this was going on, hey, I got Wolverine in. Time to put in my two cents about Odell as well so I can get this attention. Just feed into the drama. 
the numbers are there, people. You don't have to listen to me. The numbers are there. I'm not going to list off people's channels who are not getting this so-called 1-6 scale uh, community support. I'm not going to name off their channels. But anybody that wants to go and do the research, look on certain people's channels who are showing their work, showing their custom figures, showing their hot toys, but they're barely breaking 200 views. And then look at what happens when you talk about Odell. A Rain Man figure was reviewed. Hasn't even broken over nine, well, hasn't even broken over 800 views. But now, and that was months ago, talking about Odell, you'll break over a thousand views in over a couple of days. My Facebook is flooded with people trying to become my friend and I don't even know who the hell they are and I'm asking they're leaving messages sitting there saying dude are you the guy that they're talking about on YouTube some are saying I've seen your videos they love my videos but I promised one of my homeboys on uh OSR which which is more of a community than this YouTube community uh Steve Fisher one collector who loves to show his collection off, loves to show his uh, artistic capability in drawing, sat there and told me, he was like, you know what, Odell, I want you around on OSR. Uh, I think you're a great person. Uh, I love your videos when you show your custom figures or you do a review on Hot Toys or if you talk about a Hot Toys uh, figure that's coming up. But he said, I hate it when you do rant videos. That's the only fucking thing that I hate about your channel is when you do that. And I took that to heart. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I need to take a whole new direction in things. But some people were sitting there saying that, dude, YouTube sucks. Stick to OSR. YouTube is nothing but drama. Some shit will happen where if you say something this or you say something that, Somebody disagrees with it or whatever, and next thing you know, they start jumping into it, and drama happens. I had one artist, and I'm not naming his name because he asked me not to name his name. He says, I know that we've had um, all this talk about you and, and this whole recasting heads, even though they're for my own collection. Um, he was like, I would have never expected for him to be giving away a head sculpt so that he can create a lynch mob against you. He said, I would have thought it was would have been reversed. He said, I would have thought you would have done that first. You and you only. But he said it shocked the hell out of me when I saw him do it. Because that's not him. It wasn't Denny Kim. But it was a well-known artist. And he sat there and said... I have to give you respect for not doing that. Not pretty much going down to that level. The threads, the sideshow freaks uh, thread, the free head sculpt, it's been, it's been deleted. I don't know if Dave did it. I don't know if he did it, but it's been deleted. Because when the thread started, the support was there. People, of course, bashing me. But then other people were like, why are you even bringing this shit on this forum? That's something that need, that's between you and him. Why are you even bringing this on here? Why are you sitting here, two grown-ass men acting like little fucking girls? I agree. But it started, it started going from Team Magnus to, to Team, what the fuck are y'all two doing? Take that shit somewhere else. We don't want that here. Thread is gone. On OSR, I think it's even gone on OSR. All of that truly wasn't even necessary. The rap video, okay, yeah, that was unnecessary. As a matter of fact, I'll probably sit there and take the shit down because that shit was uncalled for. But, again, how did all of this start? One person could have just came to me and just could have sat there and just called me a piece of shit right then and there and uh mano y mano 
but of course it needs to flood into the YouTube so that the YouTube community, this so-called one six scale community, can focus their attention on one person and focus their attention on drama. Don't don't read my lips. Look on YouTube. Look how many people loaded videos. I know Denny Kim is probably like, I'm not giving away free shit anymore. If people are going to sit there and give away shit that I'm giving to them so that they can create a lynch mob. So the people who sent me PMs on YouTube saying, hey, man, uh, keep your head up. I feel sorry. My head has been up. My head has been up. I've been in fights before. This is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. It's not like I lost my paycheck and it's not like I, I got booted out of uh, my career. And it's not like I'm living out on the streets homeless. Family is good. My friends that I have, good. This is nothing. I lost subscribers. So the fuck what? I guarantee you they'll come back. Not the ones that left, but the amount of numbers that I lost. It'll generate more. More will come back. I'm not going anywhere. Still going to sit here and show my shit. But as far as being in this so-called 1-6 community, it's not. It's more about drama than it is about sitting here talking about 1-6 scales. And like I said, you don't have to believe me. The numbers are there. Anybody that wants to go through YouTube and do the research, do it. But the numbers are there. Certain individual came back on YouTube, haven't been, has, haven't been on YouTube a while. Hasn't even came close to breaking over 100 yet. Maybe not even over 150. But if you load a video talking about Odell, you're going to break about 600 on that same day. Now you know, now you know, I guess the dude is right. You know you got some power when you make people who haven't been on the tube or haven't said anything on the tube in months all of a sudden come out and do a video, expend their energy, their time to do a video to talk about one person. It's not R.I.P. Mr. Lick You Down. It's not. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Still kicking. Still going. All of this eventually is going to die down and it's going to go right back down to uh, 100 views here, a couple of views there. So y'all need to ask yourselves, is this a 1-6 scale community? I don't think so. OSR is. I will say that OSR is more of a community than it is uh, in here. As far as me disabling comments, well, comments I don't mind. People can load up comments. People can sit there and say this and that. But when you start doing ghost accounts where you can't man up and say what you got to say and I know who you are, that's when I disable shit because now that's some pussy shit. Be a man. Say what you got to say. Don't do the ghost accounts. But you know what? The ghost accounts will come. And that's the thing on OSR. You can't hide. If you got something to say, you're going to fully expose yourself. So this one six scale community on YouTube, it's more of a drama community. And the numbers prove it. Don't believe me. Look at the numbers. Peace.